Hi everyone, my name is Taylor Cassidy and welcome to Black Girl Magic Man. We need black queens on the TV screen and behind the scenes. Melanated women know what that really means. You need to be seen. They run the world full throttle. Pretty black faces more than a model. Get black magic girl, put it in a bottle. Come on girl, it's your cue. Mad potential in you. Don't show it ain't true. If you scroll on TikTok, there has been one thing that has been so consistent all throughout the existence of TikTok, the discussion and debate over black hair and our identities. Not to interrupt the episode less than one minute in, and please excuse my head because coincidentally, I am braiding my hair right now. But let's get into the fact that I literally made a video two years ago discussing why certain hairstyles are protected by certain cultures and they literally made it a meme format. Do y'all see my point? Okay, back to the video. Now, this episode is absolutely not about the debates, the trauma, the ignorance. We're not about that here. What it is about is just appreciating how bomb our hair is. In honor of that, I decided to visit the Black Hair Experience in Atlanta, Georgia to figure out where does this love of our hair come from and how can we keep on having it? When I first walked into the black hair experience, the first things that you see are all of these connected photo booths surrounding and having the theme of African American hair. And as I walked through and just looked at all of the exhibits, I felt such an immense amount of gratefulness and pride in the journey that I've been on with my hair. I remember in middle school, I did not even know what natural hair was like whenever i saw it on youtube i was like what is that but being at the black hair experience really gave me a chance to look back at all of the mess ups all of the times i thought i was doing my edges and really just gave me a moment to be like mm, yeah mm. <laughs> but it also led me to having the question through all of the stuff that we have been through with our curls and coils, where does this love for our hair come from? Let's take it back to the basics. All right, y'all. First things first, when our hair grows out of the follicle, it's either a little more straightened or curved, and that's what makes our hair curly. And because of that, the curls piling on top of one another makes it stand up more. We defy gravity, y'all. More so within the natural hair community, we've developed these charts listing out different hair types, most of the time from 2A to 4C. But even though these types exist, most of the time, all of us have different hair types on our heads. We're not defined to one type. We know our hair is malleable, and because of that, we've been able to express ourselves with it from the very beginning. In African countries, it was used to signify status, celebration, wealth, and just straight up art. And even when history was doing way too much, and even the present, we still found ways to be ourselves and protect ourselves. Nowadays, y'all, the styles are endless and it answers our question of why we love our hair so much. It's become not only a statement of our resilience, but it's become a personal story of each of our own journeys of self-love. But don't just take it from me. I interviewed a few people from the Black Hair Experience to see what they had to say about their love of natural hair. Um, my name is Morgan, and my Instagram handle is underscore we love to see mo. My name is Ashley, um, and my handle is ash2kitty. Let me look. I don't know what it is, so don't give me one second. So my name is Janae, and my Instagram handle is Janae Deandra. Relaxers. My mom didn't really know how to do my hair, so she was like, girl, we just gonna relax that thing on out and keep it going. Um, as a child, I always got relaxers. It was relaxers for me all the way through. <laughs> yeah, so my mom would always do individual plaits all over my head, and I used to have um, the bowls on all of my plaits, and so that's one that I remember. Uh, that's a great question. Let me think about that. I follow this girl on Instagram. Her name is Mahog like, it's Mahogany Curls. I think she recently did like another big chop. My hair inspiration would have to be Michelle. She rocks the natural, she rocks the weave, she rocks the press, and I love it. She's so versatile. It's this girl on Instagram. Her name is Havana Rose. I think that's her handle too, but she does really, really beautiful rod sets, perm rod sets. Um, I really love her. So if I had to think of anybody off the top of my head, I would say her. 
Me either. I have not mastered it. So. <laughs> wow. Honestly, when I went natural, and I loved like the texture of my hair, and people would tell me all the time, oh, you have beautiful texture, and I didn't really believe it. But then I started to embrace all the kinks and the coils and everything. My hair is unique, that it is something that a lot of people um, envy. It's something that is a source of pride, and so I would remind myself to just always um, just be proud of it, to flaunt it, to rep it, to hold my head high, um, because you know our hair is, is so so unique, and a lot of people want it, but they can't have it. No matter what state it's in, it is beautiful. It is so beautiful, um, and don't let anybody tell you that it's not. Don't try to conform your hair um, for a man, for somebody else. Like rock whatever you want to rock, and go with that. Embrace the versatility. Like, do not think that your hair has to be like everyone else. Just because everyone else has a relaxer doesn't mean I have to have a relaxer. Just because everybody else is natural, I mean, I have to be natural. Whatever I'm feeling that day, that's okay. And if nobody else is feeling it, as long as I am, wear it with grace. <laughs> we can do whatever. And, and that's what I would have told my younger self versus trying to fit in with what everybody else said. <laughs>